Journée de la langue anglaise, 23 avril. Dixième mission, culture, confiée à l'OIDE par l'ONU. L'OIDE s'emploie à créer les conditions d'un dialogue entre les civilisations, les cultures et les peuples, fondé sur le respect de valeurs partagées par tous, telles que le droit à l'éducation, le droit à l'information, la liberté d'opinion et d'expression, les droits culturels et le droit d'accès et de participation au progrès scientifique. So it was a German teacher and we were doing some literature. Somehow we were talking about careers, I don't know why, and he said, don't think you will ever get a job in the United Nations. That's just not possible, nobody can do it. And I thought, but that doesn't make any logical sense because somebody must be able to do it. So the first week I was here, even when you want something and you know that you want to do something, when it actually happens, you're like, oh, this is real. And that can be a shock. So the first week I came here, I was, oh my, you know, wow, I'm here and this is real. I think people don't get that what translators do is they look at evidence, whether it's physical or usually language documents, and they analyze that in order to be able to understand it. It's not, you know, as some sort of robotic thing. You really, really need to look, understand what's beneath it in order to be able to communicate. English Language Day, the 23rd of April. Tenth Mission, Culture, entrusted to IOED by UN. IOED strives to create the conditions for a dialogue between civilizations, cultures, and peoples, based on respect for values shared by all, such as the right to education, the right to information, freedom of opinion and expression, cultural rights, and the right to access and participate in scientific progress. The name William Shakespeare is synonymous with great literature, but it also belonged to a person who had a life outside his famous works. Did Shakespeare have a family? In 1582, Shakespeare was married to Anne Hathaway. Not that one. The daughter of a local landowner who was eight years senior to the 18-year-old Bard. They were married just six months before the birth of their first child, Susanna. This scandalous timing, among other evidence, has suggested to some historians that their marriage was provoked by the pregnancy. Not a passion fit for Shakespeare's own work. Nevertheless, the couple had two more children, twins Hamnet and Judith. Sadly, Hamnet died at the age of 11 in 1596. Whether this tragedy had an impact on Shakespeare's most famous tragic work, Hamlet, has been a matter of much debate. Shakespeare is most famous for his work as a playwright, having crafted more timeless classics than we have time to name drop in this video. But he also wrote three whole plays about Henry VI that you probably weren't assigned in high school. How many plays did he write in all? Believe it or not, historians aren't totally sure how many plays Shakespeare wrote. Scholarly consensus usually attributes 37 plays to him, but he's believed to have worked on more with other writers, and some of his work may be lost to history.